Welcome to the city that never sleeps, y'all, where breakfast isn't just a meal, it's an event. In Las Vegas, breakfast is a round-the-clock spectacle. From lavish buffets to gourmet brunches, Vegas turns the most important meal of the day into a gastronomic extravaganza. So, whether you're a high roller or a penny slot enthusiast, there's a breakfast in Vegas with your name on it. So forget the casinos for a moment, and let's dive into the real Sin City indulgence. Some of the best breakfast spots here in Las Vegas for 2024. Let's eat. So we are excited. David, how excited are you? This is a really funky spot. I am so curious to see if Sun's Out, Bun's Out almost has that similar feel to what? Well, x <laughs> over yes, Cosmo, I yeah. Know. It feels like it. I mean, it's, the only difference right now is that the lines don't seem as long as x right. Like x like you got to get there like really early. This feels like a little bit more fluid, it's, you know. Yeah, they move, yeah, they move you through move you quickly quick. and uh, it's really kind of cool though, excited to try we try the sauce scrambled. And what do you we're actually both getting sauce, sauce scrambled. Sauce scrambled with bacon. A little bacon it's a in little there. recommended bacon on that, sauce scrambled sandwiches. And I think that was like nine dollars plus whatever additional for the bacon. Right, exactly. Um, so bacon was three dollars extra. Okay, so, so 12, it turned into so, like a twelve dollar. So twelve dollar sandwich. sandwich. That sounds about egg slutty prices. And of course we got some fresh squeezed orange juice. Right. That looks nice. Oh, I hear it. I just called oh, it. They in. Called, okay. Time to pick up the food. Well, this is a beast of a breakfast sandwich. It's awesome. I love the soft scramble with the cheese in there. The onion, there's some spicy mayo in there as well, and the bacon looks good, so can't wait to jump into that. Wow, you know, I totally see what you mean. It's got, it's just incredible. I mean, that thick, thick layer of like cheddar, you're right with the bacon, and that brioche bun, which is really gonna bring home that soft deliciousness. It has a little bit of a crispy layer to that brioche bun. And it, um, again, this here does remind me of right here, the way it's wrapped there, it's a little egg slut like Now, you know, we are big fans of egg sluts over at Cosmopolitan, but this here, I have to, just, this that could be it. Good. Soft scrambled egg, the different cheese, looks like there's chives on there. Oh. I think it's time for a bite, babe. I think it's time for a bite. All right, here we go. Oh, heaven. Mm. Oh my God, that is so good. I had a big blowout on the side of that cheese, but I got a really good bite of everything. So there's a little crunch in the bacon, the onion. Oh, it just tastes really nice. The egg is a soft egg, soft scrambled, yeah. and it's absolutely delicious. I just love everything about that first bite. The key is the second. So I'm gonna take one more and then roll with it. I thought that was absolutely delicious. Now, just to let you know, Dave, we paid $7.50 for these large coffees. And there's a Starbucks like right now like in the, right, uh, the right now there. We could have got, we could have paid less than that and gotten a and gourmet coffee. Uh, oh. Well, they certainly got your buns out on that one. <laughs> <laughs> They literally even have their own merch here with mugs. You know, I'm a big mug fan. Not sure about the hats, but those are super cute. Has like a little egg on it. Oh, that is super cute. How cute! The little egg Very here, cute. smiling. Sun's out. Buns out. Oh, and buns out. Now I get it. Yeah, buns right. Out, buns out. Yeah, that is so funny. <laughs> Good morning. So we're gonna have a little breakfast down here at the Sundance Grill. Now these guys were voted best breakfast. So I'm really excited to see what they have to offer on the menu. They're open pretty late too. So there's breakfast, lunch, dinner. We're here obviously for the breakfast. So let's order.
Now before we jump into what we're ordering this morning, I just want to mention they actually have a graveyard special here from 12 to 7 a.m. A great steak and egg special for $9.99. So if you love those graveyard specials, Cheap Eats, come on down here and check that out. So I also want to mention the Sundance Grill used to be 24 hours. I think once the pandemic happened, it kind of took that away. It's been sort of a hourly thing. Now they're actually going back to 24 hours, which is great. Now we've already placed our order. So I actually am ordering the breakfast burrito and that is $14 for the breakfast burrito. And Dave's going for the corned beef, which is all made in house here, which he loves his corned beef and that's 15 bucks. So we're gonna enjoy a nice little breakfast, fill ourselves up and take it from there. Good morning and welcome to breakfast at the Four Seasons. <laughs> seasons and that uh, looks really nice it really is nice the moment you walk and it has like this wonderful decor we are obviously starting off the day here with a little bit of a strawberry sort of mimosa yeah so just to let you know the veranda is a breakfast and lunch spot so it's basically 6 30 to 3 30 so the menu seems quite simple there's nothing to it now it's definitely not a cheap right menu. not cheap Looks like they especially have range from like seventeen to thirty six dollars. Yeah, for breakfast. These are breakfast spots. Quite yeah. a speed, which is why those uh, credits come in handy. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Well, the food has arrived, and I got my blueberry pancakes, and well, wait a second. I thought you were getting blueberry pancakes. I thought about blueberry pancakes, but <laughs> then I saw this, which is an egg white frittata. It's got asparagus and goat cheese, and I'm looking at the menu right now, spinach, mushrooms, tomato, and roasted peppers. Woo! A lot I'm of just, good stuff. It smells stuff really good, too. Yeah, I'm ready to dive in. It smells yeah. like it has a little bit of a spice to it as well. Ooh. Yeah, you got the black blueberry pancakes. pancakes, you know? <laughs> With some cinnamon butter, though, which is supposed to be amazing. Mmm. You gotta put that one on there. Well, All right, are we ready? Dive in. That is really good. Oh my gosh, it's like cooked to perfection. The goat cheese really brings it on home. You can taste like the artichokes, you can taste like the spinach, the asparagus. Um, the red pepper coolest, the goat cheese, the egg white is very subtle, but all together it's a really nice blend. Great flavors. Love the dynamic. All right. Mm. Yeah, it looks good. It looks yum, good. Yum yum. Yum yum. Give me some. <laughs> <laughs> the pancakes, it's funny, when I first saw them I thought heavy. Right. Like, oh, they're gonna be heavy. Actually it's very light. Light wow. pancakes. Um, a lot of blueberry in them as well. Some great blueberry flavor when you kind of cut inside. And it kind of sets it apart too. They have this cinnamon butter that you put on and it, and it really tastes that cinnamon. So all in all, very good. One thing too, we asked if they had pure maple syrup. They said almost pure maple syrup. Almost. So almost pure. <laughs> it's about 75 to 80% maple syrup. Not sure what the other percent is. All I know is it tastes really good. Yeah, well we know maple syrup and if you say yeah, that, we know good. maple syrup, that's it's awesome. It's good stuff. Mm. Yeah, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Welcome to Sedell's. We are so excited to be here. Yes, it's a nice spot here at the Bellagio. They claim to have the best brunch in Vegas. We'll let you know what we think about that. Yes, and what's really cool is when you walk in here, it's just beautiful. Like, you actually go around the new conservatory, which is kind of like the fairies right. that's going on right now. I thought it was beautiful. You walk in here, the decor is so inviting, and even the outfits of all the staff members and waiters, they match the decor. Okay. No, it's really nice. Plus, they have a great view of the pool. Cool too. Yes. Right, you have this great way. If you have a window seat, you'd be looking right down at the pool. I know, you know, we should have probably put our bathing suits on since we're gonna go check out the <laughs> yeah. pool after this, but that's okay, that's okay, because it's enough time to walk upstairs, burn off this brunch, and change into our bathing suits. But first, latte. The 
restaurant's open from seven to three, and they have breakfast brunch available all day during that time. And actually at 11 o'clock, they open up for a lunch dinner as well, so I have additional options around that. So we are going with some lattes, some fresh squeezed orange juice, and I am getting the cheese blintz. And he, the waiter was like, that's his favorite. So I'm like, okay, that's what I'm gonna try with a side of blueberries and of course some sausage. Yes, that sounds good. <laughs> and that's uh, $16 for that. And I'm actually gonna go for the French toast, it's supposed to be really good. That kind of that custard filling in there as well. And also the side of sausage too. So it should be really good. Now the French toast is $22. So, so definitely not cheap. Yes. Kidding. I'm really excited about this. Yeah, that looks really nice. It's not too big too, which yep. you're worried about getting a huge portion, so it's exactly. not too bad. This is amazing. I love how they stacked in the cute little little cheese blends with little frosting right. topping and some sugar and syrup and blueberries and looks good. But they don't chance on the French toast either. Those are some pretty thick slices of French toast with the custard in there. Oh and it smells love so smelling good. It. It smells so good. <laughs> Good. Mm. Kind of melts in your mouth. Huh? You just took the words right out of right. my mouth. <laughs> melts in your mouth. It is so good. Really creamy. That ricotta cheese has a, a soft texture to it. Look how yeah. large that is. Yeah, exactly. It's, so like, it's like a, <laughs> a thick cut of beef. No, but it's very light. It really kind of like that crunch. Crispy. Oh, that's gonna be good. Yeah, and apparently they dry out the bread before they dip it in the custard. Right, except that's kind of a secret they say, but. Ah. Mm. Very moist. The custard really brings out a lot of moisture there. But it's not too heavy, too, which is great. You look at this and you think, oh, it's going to be incredibly heavy. But it's actually very light and fluffy. That's the French toast itself. Yes, light and fluffy. You know? So, it's good. Get into that sauce. So oh, right, right. look at that. Nice piece of sausage. It looks really good. Really juicy on the inside. A lot of good rich colored flavor. The skin looks crunchy on the outside. Ready? Okay. Let's do it. Now that pork sausage is so rich in flavor. Yeah, I think they're good. They're a little denser than I expected. Right, a little bit more filling. But very good sausage. Yeah. All the way down, like even the more, more as I chew it, it's still like that flavor that just continually keeps coming out. Right. But you're right, they're very dense. But delicious. Very ah, good. dense and delicious. Ah! Woo! Okay, so I will say that was great. I feel full. I feel like the value was definitely there. It's definitely not a cheap spot for sure. Yeah, no, no, it is expensive. But if you want a nice breakfast brunch spot here at the Bellagio, it's a good place to come. The food here is absolutely wonderful. Great views of the pool, which reminds me, I'm gonna work finishing this latte so we can hit the pool. You ready? ready? So we'll see you guys at the pool. Cheers! Cheers. Beautiful. It really is. Yeah. It's nice because you actually have your choice seating. Nine o'clock today. It happens to be about 61, 62 yeah, degrees. Yeah, a little cool. But the pool is supposedly heated, so it's a good opportunity for us to put that to the test. But nine o'clock, man, you can't beat that. But you can pick your own seats. Got a little sunshine and an umbrella for if it gets too hot. The perfect spot. All right. The water is nice and warm, but I think the problem is you're gonna either want to stay in here all day. Because getting out right now at 62 degrees could be a little chilly. What do you exactly. think? Exactly. Oh, yeah, I know. It's really nice in the pool. It is going to warm up into the 70s today, so it's going to be a really nice day. But yeah. uh, right now, it's definitely on the cool side. So you want to stay in the water and enjoy it. And I think we have the pool to ourselves this morning. I know. Take a look. Not a soul in the pool. Everybody's scared of 61 degree weather except the Bostonians. Woo -hoo.
Welcome to Yardbird. Now, yes. I'll just jump right into it, you guys. Here's the menu. There's a brunch special going on today. There's a lot of interesting things on there. Uh, I ended up going with just what I usually get. I like shrimp and grits. And I was told they're really good here. Yeah, I went with the smoked brisket huevos rancheros, which I'm looking forward to. We were actually here a while back and came in and it was really busy. Oh yeah, and it gets very busy here. The lines can be just out the door. So if you want to come, we suggest uh, making reservations obviously now in this current situation, but also Try to get one of the earlier seating. Yes, the music is a bit on the loud side. I think for me, honestly, it's, you know, nine, ten o'clock in the morning. <laughs> It'd be nice to have some more ambiance versus like, ooh, shit. Here we go, wake up, everybody. Hey, it's Vegas. Ooh, okay. All right. And these look absolutely delicious. I mean, the aroma coming from this here is fantastic. Yes. So the shrimp and grits, it looks perfect. I love like the juice, the sauce. I love it, it has ham and onion and tomato. Lots of good stuff going on in there. Oh, I, the presentation of both of these dishes is excellent. Yeah. Looks, looks amazing. The smoked brisket huevos rancheros looks very good. They did a great job with the eggs sunny side up. Cooked just the way we like it. Here we go. So I dive at the same time? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Cue music. Cue music, everybody. I love the complimentary flavors. I would never think of putting ham and then slices of ham inside of shrimp and grits. It is really, really good. The sauce, the flavors work really well. Spot on awesome. delicious. And this is this is awesome. <laughs> this is really good. The brisket has a nice little spiciness to it. Excellent, really tender, very nice. Um, of course you got the fresh avocado with the pico de gallo, perfectly cooked egg as well, all blended together. Thumbs up, really good. All right. Ooh, so that was really, really good. I enjoyed it. Yes, the brunch here at Yardbird is excellent. Yeah, if you're coming to the Venetian, certainly recommend coming to the Yardbird. Get early reservations to so enjoy some of that brunch and lunch. The food is spot on. So before we head to the pool, we actually decided to stop in Salt and Ivy first. We were uh, thinking, hmm, the smells start to smell a little great as you walk past here and I'm excited to try this place. Exactly, we're gonna get some nice late breakfast here, so looking forward to that. And it's a great spot overlooking the patio and the pool here at Aria. So definitely check it out, and I'm really excited, I'm hungry. Yeah, so. me too, and you can definitely sit outside. The area outside is gorgeous. They have a really nice bar that's set up out there. It does overlook the pool, and there's a lot of cool greenery out there that you can sit around, so good shady spots for sure. Mm. Double latte. Mm. Double. Double. I actually went with what is the frittata, kale, and uh, mushroom. I'm reading it right from the menu. I'm getting the Eggs Benedict. Now, they're, they're typical Eggs Benedict, it's $19, but this one's a special today, and actually they're putting king crab on it uh, for $25, so definitely wanted to try that out. Yeah. You know, it's not cheap, it's definitely not a cheap spot no. here, but we expect the food's gonna be really good. Yeah, we're really looking forward to that, and, and just to mention, the frittata is $19 as well. Should I give this a shot? Uh, give it a shot. All right, here we go. I've already started cutting it up. Mmm. It is cooked to perfection with that egg white. There's a really creamy texture to it. I can't explain it. But the ingredients, the flavors inside there, and when you have it mixed with that tomato, the burst of flavors that comes out of that is absolutely delicious. And of course, with a little bit of spinach in there, the kale gives it a nice kind of tart taste. This is absolutely delicious. Great. Well, I'll tell you, cutting into the Eggs Benedict, it's cooked perfectly. The poached egg, just the, the yolk just kind of just comes right out, just runs right out, really, really nice. And uh, so I'm gonna try it. Oh, here we go, nice big bite here. Well, Tanya, this is a great Eggs Benedict. You'll love it, you have to try this. Oh, the king crab is just great. Everything, like I said, it, the way it looked and cut, it actually tastes, it, it was cooked perfectly. It is cooked perfectly. Now, if you don't mind, I'm a hash brown fan. Oh yeah. Hash Let me brown. try these together. You ready? Oh, that sounds good to me. Let's do it. Mmm. Mm. 
Okay. Mmm. You know what? Are we switching? Nope, that's it. I think that is delicious. Now that's a hash brown. Yeah. Nice and flaky, crunchy. Super crispy. Mmm. Overall, I would say salt and ivy here at the Aria is spot on. Now, again, the prices are not cheap, but right. the value and the quality of the food, really good. You know, highly recommend it. Now it's time to get going, I think, though. I know, it's yes. time to hit the pool. This spot is located in Southwest Las Vegas. They're known for their breakfast and lunch, sort of a diner feel. And I know this sun is already roasting me, so let's get inside to Mr. Mama's. Let's eat. So let us tell you a bit about Mr. Mama's and why we're so excited to share it with you. They're a local family-owned business here in Vegas. They've been in Vegas for about 11 years. They're in the Spring Valley area. They're open for breakfast and lunch daily from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Now we've already placed our order and a couple of the highlights and why we really enjoy it is because they have some homemade items on the menu like the biscuits and gravy which is what we're getting and that is $12.79 and then of course Dave's favorite is the corned beef hash and that's $16.99. It's a very inviting diner. I love the family atmosphere. As a matter of fact, when you come in, you're gonna see the GM who's married to the sister. <laughs> There's a lot of family here. It's super cool. Oh, uh, we forgot to mention that the most popular item on the menu is the chicken fried steak, homemade, which we also ordered. Yeah, and it's $16.99. I tell you, first and foremost, we've always talked about this, that service is always the it's always the icing on the cake. The food can be dynamite, but if the service is not great, it doesn't make the food, in my opinion, taste as great. But so far, I'll tell you guys right now, this place has dynamite service. And, whew, my goodness gracious, look at that. Look at that. Of course, yeah. it's dynamite. The crunchy, sort of that, the batter wrapped around that steak is absolutely delicious. I don't know, it's always something about homemade like chicken gravy with the sausage in it. It really just adds that extra layer of deliciousness. It's warm, tender. Sometimes you can get the steak that could be, once it's pounded out or flattened a little, a little bit too, uh, how do you say, dry. This is not that at all. And it goes really nice. Here's a tip. Get the extra gravy on the side so you can just dip and bite. And I'm sharing this with my husband, by the way. Oh. Now, babe, I love how the yolk just kind of, it was perfectly cooked, just ran right over the corned beef. I'm excited to try it. So give it a try? Give it a shot. All right, look at that. That looks good. Wow, that is some excellent corned beef hash, babe. It's very, it's very minced, almost fine, kind of smooth. But the flavor of the corned beef just jumps out at you. And combined with that runny yolk from the egg, that's perfect. I definitely want to try some hot sauce on it, though. I love a little spice to it. It's not hot when it comes out, but I think a little spice might add a little added dimension to it. So I need to point this out to you. If you see the pendants lined up all around Mr. Mama's. They didn't buy the pendants themselves. Folks actually brought in those pendants into the shop or actually mailed them in and they would put them on the wall. So if you don't see your favorite team up there, bring a pendant with you and they'll put it up on the wall for you or you can mail, even mail it in. It's pretty cool. Turn Turn it up! Up! Now we're going to share with you one of the most popular local breakfast spots in all of Las Vegas. Welcome to Blueberry Hill Restaurant. Now this has been family owned for many years and serving Las Vegas locals some great, great breakfast options. Now this one's open 24-7. Now there are four of these Blueberry Hill locations in Las Vegas and the one that we're at right now is the one on East Flamingo. There are two on East Flamingo and we're at the one closest to UNLV that's 24-7. I'm talking 24-7 breakfast, lunch, and dinner y'all. And one of the coolest things about this spot here is they can get lines up to two hours long for breakfast because they really do pride themselves on making a lot of things from scratch, right? Oh no they do. Yum yum give it some. Mm. Now the price points here are very reasonable. I ordered the corned beef hash for $13.69. And Tanya, what did you get? So I ordered the chicken apple compote waffle. One of the things I like about that is that their chicken is a chicken breast that actually has their own sort of breaded crumbs around there that they make themselves. On top of the compote, which they make in the kitchen from scratch with the freshest fruit. And that apple is delicious. So I don't know. Plus we got, we had to get a side of those biscuits, which are also homemade biscuits and gravy, homemade biscuits, homemade gravy with the little bacon bits and a couple other things like a pancake and just a lot of good stuff. So we're about to dive in mm. while it's hot.
Wow. Is that corned beef hash? I gotta say, you really taste the freshness. You can tell it's been made from scratch. Oh, yeah. It is just so good. Really, everything we've had, I mean, that's one thing about this place. Everything tastes so fresh and it's just really good. It's like homemade, made with love. Yes. What I would suggest is for breakfast, try and get here early um, because if you want that outdoor seating, it is a first come, first serve basis. You cannot make a reservation here. You can make a reservation on the inside. And keep in mind as well, during the months of October when it gets a little bit cooler, uh, lunch tends to really, really pick up. So they have great lunches, great brunches on the weekend for sure. But think about those things when you are scheduling your time to come here to Mon Amigabi on the strip, baby. Here we go. Cheers to an awesome breakfast. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. Breakfast is served. Cheers, baby. Now, the menu for breakfast has shortened a little bit. So they used to have a lot more items on the breakfast menu, but currently there's a little few less items on that menu. Still a great variety for sure. We'll put that up on the screen here so you can see the different options that they do have. But that's what they have going on for the breakfast menu. So anyway, my corned beef hash has arrived and it looks incredible. Uh, so again, it's corned beef with poached eggs, roasted red bell peppers, some Yukon gold uh, potatoes, and also they roasted some, looks like some cherry tomatoes here. Just looks really, really good. And of course our server, Abelino, brought us over uh, some of these jalapenos. So I better, try, I better try some of these. And he went all out too and brought over some Tabasco too. So we'll see. Trying this without the uh, added jalapeno and Tabasco sauce, but here we go. This looks amazing. Wow. This is really some great, great uh, hash. It's really good. The flavor, the, it's not too salty, but just enough salt there. And the poached egg just really, really is creamy. Just kind of blends right in so nicely. Yeah, I kind of want to get some. I'm going to get some of this cherry tomato too. The red pepper. Just I like kind of making a big mess here. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good too. The rosa red pepper, a cherry tomato in there. Thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Really good. <laughs> so I'm excited to try this. Now, what was nice in our server, Abelino, thank you for doing this. I was torn between the French toast and the crepes, the banana fosters crepes. So, kind of split it up for me so that I could actually try one of each and man it looks really really wonderful with the bananas sitting in sort of that caramel sauce and the powdered sugar and of course you can't not top that with that fresh whipped vanilla oh my gosh whipped cream so I'm gonna give it a shot such a great texture, the softness in the middle, the crunch on the outside, the banana and the caramel are not overwhelming, and putting that vanilla whipped cream on top is so refreshing, and you do get the bits of powdered sugar, it's like perfectly sweet but not too sweet, absolutely a winner winner chicken dinner, Woo! so I don't know if this french toast is going to top that delicious crepe, but I still have high hopes. So next up, I'm gonna try this French toast. It's a blueberry French toast, really thick piece. Nice, has the powdered sugar on it. Of course, to give you the extra blueberry, sort of like drizzle on top of that. And the whipped cream, the vanilla whipped cream. So it really has a nice texture, great in color. It looks like it's crunchy on the outside for sure, even after all the juices in there. So I'm gonna give this a shot. Some little extra whipped cream. You never have too much extra whipped cream. All right, here we go. Blueberries are just right. They're like the small blueberries, so they have that little bit of sweetness to them, less bitter. The the kind of the powdered sugar really does bring it on home. The crunch on the edge of that soft and moist French toast is heaven. I think Dave 
is gonna love this one here. I think oh. you're gonna love this. Oh, I know so. I know I'm gonna love it. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. I think it's time for us to chow this down and let you guys know what we think after we eat. But I think it's already clear. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Cosmopolitan. Now, several of our subscribers suggested this place, so thank y'all. We're looking forward to giving them a shot. So welcome. We're looking forward to have a nice breakfast here today. Yeah. Uh, do you know what you're getting? I do know. Now, typically, like every place you go into, you're gonna have to zap that QR code yeah. here. I'm right. gonna have the southern shrimp and grits. What are you getting? Yeah, I'm gonna get the corned beef hash. Oh, corned beef so hash. Go for that. Should be nice. Love that. A couple right. of fresh squeezed orange juices. Let's see what it's like here. All right, yes. I'm so excited. This actually looks really good. Oh, that looks and smells awesome. I really, it does have that rich aroma. Yes. I am so stoked to see that it's not as crazy large as I thought it was gonna be. Again, we got the southern sort of shrimp and grits. And you can really smell that like Cajun barbecue spice in there. It's got avocado layer on top of that. It's got that nice corn sort of style grits, not traditional grits, but like a corn yeah. paste type grit. And of course, they bring you some sauces, which I'm gonna probably have some hot sauce on there. And I am stoked. Oh, and it's got some beans in there. Why? Wow. I like yeah. it. Yeah, well, I got the corned beef hash. Of course, that's sunny side up eggs with some hollandaise sauce. And, you know, looks and smells really good, too. And plus, I had to get some pickled jalapenos. Of so, course. gotta spice it up a little bit. Oh my, oh my. That shrimp. Mm. That is very, very good. I love the creaminess of the grit. The salsa really blends in. The avocado has that little cold burst. Now the shrimp, I think could be a little less on the crunchier side. Um, you know, I like, it's, it's hard to explain. It's like that right in the middle, perfect shrimp. Right. But it's really, really good in a lot of flavor. So I put on some uh, pickled jalapenos, Ooh, I like that, and then uh, I'm gonna dive right in here and try it out. Kind of cutting through the egg. Here we go. I'll give it a shot. Mm. That's really good. I like it. I definitely, you know, the egg is really nice, perfectly done. Um, the yolk just kind of just gets nice and creamy. Very kind of buttery yolk blends right in here um, into the hash. The hash tastes really good too. Not, you know, it's salty, but not too salty. Just a really nice flavor. And of course, those pickled jalapenos add that spicy kind of kick to it. So it's really, really a nice dish. Try and get here on the earlier side, because as we look, and you probably see maybe even behind us, right now, currently, there's about a 45 minute wait. Wow. So, you know, they're still running at about half the past about these places, so things can go quickly. So get here to enjoy your breakfast. Now, the Henry is not a cheap place, but it is still a decent value here for at the Cosmo. These dishes were $18 each. And the portions aren't huge, but they're really a, a good, healthy size. We just have to kind of wrap this up, finish our coffee and our OJ, and head on over to the pool, y'all. We are kicking things off here at the Miracle Mile Shops at Ocean One Bar and Grill. They have some great cheap eats. Actually, every lunch item is $4.99, but really throughout the menu, it's great throughout the day. You can come here for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. All a great value. We are actually here for breakfast. And as Dave mentioned, as we we're coming in, breakfast is $5.99. Now we did enjoy lunch here at $4.99 and there's quite a few options. I was pleasantly surprised. I had the salmon, I believe, which was really tasty. And it, there's a bunch of different options on there, $4.99. The service is quick. There's plenty of options for you to sit either at the bar, indoors here, and even outdoors. I'm gonna now enjoy some of this breakfast before it gets too cold, which is the $5.99, simple but plentiful, eggs, toast, bacon, and hash browns. Yum, yum, yum. This is a really cool 
local spot too, the John E. Carson Hotel. But look for food here. There's some great food spots now that have come into this location. Uh, you got downtown sushi, you got a donut bar, some other great restaurants. Go check them out. This is a nice spot too, Carson Kitchen. Yes, oh, out. remember this spot? This was so delicious. Right. There's a nice little kind of fried stuff too here. Kind of like that, a uh, little bit of southern style fried to it. chicken skins. Yeah. And they're still developing down here, so there's a yeah. lot, lot going like on. Restaurant Row on Carson Ave. There's a lot of great local spots to eat downtown. And speaking of eat, this is a great spot, breakfast and lunch. But if you're coming down on the weekend, make sure you get here early because there is going to be a line. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, good. Ruin it. Yeah, there's a lot of good things on this menu. Their uh, sandwiches are pretty good here as well. Definitely going for those deviled eggs, because that's uh, the highlight here. Yes, good early morning here. We're back in Las Vegas for another fun adventure, and right now we are kicking things off here on Fremont Street at Public Us. Yeah, Public Us, one of the best coffee spots here, right downtown, really cool. Really, really cool. We have a nice fun day set up, the sun is shining. We're gonna kick things into gear because I need some coffee. I need some coffee too. Let's do it. Let's do it. I tell you, this place is a gem. Public Us here in the Fremont Village on Fremont Street is really great. Great coffee, great breakfast. I mean, look at everything. Everything is made fresh here. Breakfast and lunch. Great place to come. Farm to table. Farm to table. Yeah. Fresh. And that's, we love farm to fresh. As oh, a matter yeah. of fact, I think the gentleman at the counter was telling us that there's a small farm that's up north where they kind of get their like their herbs and things yes. of that nature. And it was super cool. Once he said it was made to fresh every day, these looked. Amazing. Yeah, what are those? They're like blueberry. These are like blueberry cream cheese scones. Yeah, woo! And of course, you gotta have the coffee. latte. Wow. Oh wow, that's so good. Oh wow. Isn't it nice? It really kind oh, of just melts in your mouth. It's like... We better get some close-ups of this because it's going down pretty quick. No, oh, I can <laughs> see that. Welcome to Kitchen Table, you guys. So we're definitely excited to check out this place here. It, it's a, a small sort of family-owned style business with Chef Javier, who's inspired by his mom. It's a really cool spot. Yeah, no, very cool spot. Definitely a local favorite. You know, Tiny and I love this place. So this is a, we've been here before. Yes. But this is our first time filming it. I wanted to share it with you in yeah. Henderson. Yeah. Uh, you know, about maybe 15, 20 minutes outside of uh, downtown Las Vegas. Worth a visit though. Oh yeah, they have exceptional lattes. Now they're breakfast, lunch, and brunch. So the hours really consist of like eight o'clock in the morning to two o'clock in the afternoon. But it's a hot, fun spot. You got outdoor seating if you choose. We're sitting inside just because of the noise out there. We want to make sure we kind of bring you guys into this experience. And they've already dropped off the menus. And the lattes, are on the way and I they come in these like beautiful cute big mugs delicious it's time for some coffee yeah mm. Mm. okay there is nothing about changing positions get a little more intimate that I can just relate to so we kind of switched up a little bit to bring in a little bit more intimate while we uh, enjoy these coffees right and that first sip of coffee always is awesome uh, it's right so awesome right but one thing about uh, this place I think we should talk about it has a kind of a Texas influence to it which uh, we used to live in Austin Texas for those that may not know and so we love kind of some of that Texas vibe and chef Javier grew up in El Paso Texas Big influence from his mom, of course, in his cooking, and it shows yeah, up in the menu. Absolutely, and uh, you can't go wrong with uh, mom's cooking, but Chef Javier also kind of has a lot, some culinary experience. Oh, he's lot. worked around different parts in Las Vegas. One was the Golden Nugget, so he's bringing some of that culinary flair and some of mom's cooking here, and that's probably why we enjoy it so much, because of that Texas flair and mom's flair. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> absolutely. Do you know what you want uh, for breakfast yet? I do. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I, I do. I think I have maybe an idea, but uh, yeah, what, what do you think about? I am thinking of the tacos huevos. Yeah, I just, that's gonna be filling. It's great for this like early morning, you know, and we'd like getting here early. So that's why it's like pretty empty because we're like one of the first to be seated. But it's just, 
I don't know. And we've had them before. We've had it before. They're good. <laughs> and I'm gonna go for the same thing. So uh, it's gonna be a little tacos huevos kind of morning, I think. All right, taco tacos. Right? <laughs> yeah. So change up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I did. So what are you getting? Yeah, so I switched up. I'm going from the tacos huevos to the chilaquiles, and it's another one of their really popular dishes. And our waitress, she kind of convinced me. Now she said, the portion sizes are big, which is one thing I did forget. They are right. pretty oh, massive. Yeah. So we can kind of have a good amount of the tacos huevos and a good amount of chili yeah, I love it. and split it. So. Yeah, it's, it's more more to try. So yeah, sounds I love good. it. Give me a kiss. Mm, love you back. Anytime. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that looks pretty awesome, babe. It's amazing. Right? Oh, man. I love how it's served in this cute bowl. Right? Yeah, and that looks really good. It, it does look great. And I can just, I mean, that, like, right there, that little uh, sunny side up egg that's going to kind of just flow right over everything so nicely. Yeah. You want to switch? Um, no. Do you want to switch? <laughs> <laughs> Just that but, description. But if you want to. The you way like you're to. describing it is yeah, almost like you're like, good. you went right to this one, so that's sunny side. Hang looks up. good. It kind of But of course right you over. know I'm going to share with you. Oh, yeah. So we're we're going to share this, too, this for together. sure. So you're def definitely having at least one of these. I am. I am. I, I love kind of what's in that one, though. That looks really interesting. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, it's quite simple, like scrambled eggs, potatoes. Looks like there's maybe some um, pork, oh, like bacon fat in there, fat. potentially, as well. Uh, there's definitely some salsa, some spicy homemade salsa. Yes. as well is on this. Might put a little bit more on. Then there's some crema on that, some avocado. I mean, it looks good. Yeah, and this got this one is just, it's like packed full of goodness. It's got the creme, it's got like the sunny side up, the braised pork, it has the uh, Oaxacan cheese, um, which is really, really nice. And it's just a whole assortment of good yes. flavors going on there. You can kind of just smell that aroma. And of course it has this sort of salsa arbol that's on the side. Yeah, it's that homemade salsa. Now I tried a little taste of it and my mouth is still on fire. So you yeah. already have some more in there, so you might want to bite into it before you try it. I think but. that's good advice, but I may just put a little more on it, just, just for the fun of it. Get ready what for this one, Should I do that? Get just ready for, for this one. Yeah, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> um, this, you can try this one if you'd like. I don't think so. I don't think so. We'll see if I'm like smoking crazy after this one. I just put a little bit on there. Should be fun. Uh, I'm gonna break this egg. Let's yeah, see. you break of, the egg, yeah. Give me one second. Let me show you how this kind of melts in there. We're gonna pan to camera number two. So did you see that? I did see you that. See how that egg just kind of oozed itself on down the line. That was very nice. <laughs> was that was very nice. nice. I like how you put it. That was good. Thank you very much. But look at that pork. Right. Everything just seems to blend so nicely. Now the chilaquiles is interesting because they get really soft. Yes. But you also get like a small, tasty bit of a little crunch that goes on from the outer layers that really haven't touched any of the. Um, right. So you get a little crunchiness, yes. a little blend. Look of at it. that cheese. All right, here we go. Oh, you're like that. Oh my. Oh my word. Uh, coming at me. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. Nice flavor. Exactly. That has a lot of nice flavor. The pork is really, sort of the beef, right? The braised beef. Um, sorry, braised pork is really, really tender. Mm really nice i love the flavors you have like the green sauce that just kind of comes out of it um which is the most popular here is that green sort of tomatillo sauce mm -hmm. and i love the egg flavor that just kind of adds yeah. to it and a little bit of the crunch from like the tortillas in there right yeah, nice spice in there too i feel a nice spice mm -hmm. yummy mm. another bite okay baby one more all right try that mm. 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 you ready Mm -hmm. let's, let's, do it, let's do it for the people. One. What am I doing? The thumbs up. No. <laughs> One. Two. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yeah, because I'm a little nervous. I want to see nervous? how hot it really is. Okay. Oh, I like the cabbage. Yeah, oh, that's like true. Look at all that cabbage, cabbage in there, too. Coleslaw yeah. Comes out of it. All right, go for it. There we go. You're going to need the there's plate. A, there's a lot, right of, uh, a lot of sauce on this one. What do you think? Mm. 
This is what I think. I think it's an amazing taco. It's, it's like super creamy. Everything kind of, I think with the avocado in there, that, uh, that creme and, uh, you know, everything just blends together so nicely. And it's really not, I'm feeling the spice, but the salsa is great and it's actually just the right amount of kick for me. Yeah. It is very good. Highly recommend this. Yeah, yeah, I like it too in that corn tortilla, right? It's got, yeah. I love that. Like breakfast taco kind of vibe in the morning with the dual corn yeah. tortillas is great. I definitely love the crunch. Like you oh, get from yeah. The These guys, in yeah. There. I don't have as much of that. Yeah, uh. it's just, it's got a lot. Yeah, I'm going to put some on there because it's got a nice little flavor to it. The yeah. red cabbage kind of crunch. Um, you definitely taste the egg. Yes, and the salsa are bold on here is just enough for me. It's spicy. I will say that it is kicking it up. Is like, I, I feel it more and more in my mouth now. Turn it up, world! Woo. Okay. I am stuffed. Oh, I am so stuffed. Okay, well, let me ask you. Sure. So, what'd you think of this place? <laughs> what did you think? <laughs> <laughs> This next spot, you guys, we really enjoy. They have several locations. Actually, one of our favorites is in the Arts District, and it's a brand new one here in Henderson. Now, on Wednesdays, they're home to the $2 empanadas. Next up, Makers and Finders. Let's eat. You know, this is just coming in here. The atmosphere just feels just inviting and welcoming. We have already placed our order. I'm gonna let Dave tell you about the order, but I tell you what I got. They're known for their lattes. I'm a fan of the lavender latte, but because it is the season to be in the, the season, I got a pumpkin spice latte, and I'm starting to dive into it. All right, Dave, what are we eating? All right, well, we're going for all empanada today. It's a two dollar empanada Wednesday. Now there's a limit of three per person, so of course we're getting six. So we got two short ribs. Two short ribs. Short, short rib empanada. This is the popular, popular, right? Very popular. We got a chicken tinga. Mm -hmm. We got a queso. Queso, which is really, really popular. Garlic shrimp. Definitely on my uh, radar. And a spicy mushroom. That is all you, baby. That's six, right? That's, That's six. six. That's six. Now, now, I think what you yeah. can do is you can, um, I think what you, if you really want more, the trick might be to go outside, pay your bill, go outside and start a new one. And if they don't let you in, maybe call and place an order instead for pickup. They do a lot of takeout, just saying. <laughs> Just to let you know, this is dynamite. It's actually vegan latte. It's made with a house-made vegan pumpkin puree, double espresso, oat milk, and nutmeg. And you can get a small, which is 650, or it looks like the large, which is seven. I went for the nice size, y'all. Yeah. Mm. It just smells like fall. It tastes like heaven. Mm -mm -mm. Come in here and you don't want empanadas, don't worry, because they have full range of options on the menu. Just some really nice Latin specialties. I mean, it goes all the way from just a sourdough toasted butter for $3, all the way up to, for example, the ceviche. You get ceviche here for $18. There's plenty to choose from. Oh, I am definitely looking forward to trying this. It looks so delicious and breaded. The shrimp one for sure, shrimp and garlic. I don't even know what sauce to dive into, but I'm gonna get creative. I'm gonna use a little of this guy right here. Oh, let it up. I'm applying it like, <laughs> like base. I'm gonna use my hands on this one. Use a little cheese. Mmm. All right. The empanada, it's really good. I mean, it's soft, doughy, crunchy on the ends. The shrimp is just right. The garlic is just complements it well. Nothing's overpowering one over the other. The sauce, that actually, the spicy like mayo type sauce, that is dynamite with this. So I gotta give it up. All right, I'm going for the uh, beef short rib. And I know it's beef because it says beef right there. That's so cool how <laughs> Not, it's like imprinted yeah. on the banana. It imprinted, so we have a little cheat sheet. Not sure if you can see it, there it is. I'm gonna try, they have a nice little kind of this dark green sauce. It looks a little almost like pesto-y. I'm just gonna dip it in and give it Ooh. a shot. Oh, mm -hmm. All right, let's see what it's like. Oh. Dip in, oh yeah. Green goodness right there. Wow, babe, this short rib is so good. You are gonna love it. I can't wait. Yeah, so guys watching, highly recommend the short rib. And with that sauce too, it's a great combination. The beef is incredibly tender. And uh, I love the crust too. Everything kind of goes together really nicely.
Okay, babe. Mm. It's the moment of truth. What's uh, your favorite empanada? Because, well, we all want to know. Okay, so my favorite in this order, I'm going to have to honestly say the garlic shrimp is probably one of my highlights. That was the one. I think the short rib comes second. And the mushroom, surprisingly, the mushroom was dynamite. Everything else was like, it was good, but in between. Well, you know, I'm only half of this story here. I'd like to know what was your favorite of them all? Well, since you put it like that, and uh, no surprise here coming from me. Mm. I gotta go for the beef short rib. The short rib. Yeah, I, I could just eat those all day. Those are really good. Behind me is Egg Butt. It is a great little breakfast spot, for, and lunch spot actually, open from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. Now, the prices are pretty reasonable in reference to a lot of restaurants here on the Strip, but they're pretty fast, they're pretty efficient. There's some great little seating spots here. Fresh squeezed orange juice, really nice spot to come to. You should definitely check out Egg Slut when you're in town. We made it to Hash House Go Go here. I'm just really excited. This is in the link. Yeah. And boy, oh boy, it's a popular spot here, especially for breakfast. It basically, they call it a farm, it's like a farmhouse twist, I guess exactly, you say. Yeah. Twisted, <laughs> twisted, twisted farmhouse food. Yes. <laughs> yes. Here we go, it's gonna be interesting. But yeah, it's a huge spot here. And they have a lot of great kind of that, like, sort of like fried chicken and waffles. Chicken and waffles. And hash and different kind of stuff. Really cool thing. Oh yeah, it works really well. What? One of their signature items is really the, the fried chicken and waffles. Yes. All different kinds that you can get there. Yes. The well, varieties. also the fried chicken uh, Benedict as well. Oh is yeah, Anything fried like that. chicken Benedict. Exactly. <laughs> fried chicken's there especially. <laughs> exactly. And also, of course, hashes. I mean, just of the course, name, right? Hash House to go, go. Right, exactly. So all different <laughs> kind of hashes as well you can pick from. I definitely think it's worth the value when you know that the portion sizes could probably take care of lunch as well. A great spot to come for breakfast, brunch. Yes. Right, but come with a, with a big appetite for sure. Exactly. Cheers! Cheers, here we go. Wow. <laughs> what is that? Holy mole. Wow. I mean, this is crazy. Crazy, oh, awesome. Oh. This is this is a special. Um, and she was not kidding when she said the very generous portion sizes. This is chicken Benedict. Now, chicken here is something, the fried chicken is one of their most signature dishes. And it's a, no wonder that this place has won 20 plus food desserts awards. Oh my goodness gracious. I mean, it's, it's just amazing. Now, the knife scares me a little. Look at that knife. That's just, like right it's just there. Right that's, on that's top how of I that cut chicken. my beef. That's how you cut my beef. <laughs> But it really is nice. It's a big old piece of chicken there. It just has like um, the, all the good hollandaise drizzle on there, the biscuits, and the mashed potato on the bottom. It's just, a, it looks crazy busy. Uh, and I love this little rosemary kind of sticking out. That looks like breakfast, there. lunch, and dinner. It is right? breakfast, lunch, and dinner for two days. Exactly. <laughs> What'd you well. get? Sure, well, I got uh, hash. Yeah. One of the hash dishes. It comes out really in a cool cast iron skillet. I love when they I do love that. that. That's really right. cool. Now, now, it's not hot. It wasn't, I mean, it's a little warm, but it wasn't like super hot in terms mm -hmm. of the skillet itself. But so this is a chorizo uh, oh, hash. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, really nice with jalapeno, some cheddar. A fresh tomato. Mm. It has some nice little uh, got over easy eggs on the side. Nice. It comes with that with two eggs. I got them over easy. And they're big eggs. Oh, Everything they're is oh, big exactly. here. Giant. Giant size. It's that <laughs> twisted arm stuff. Exactly. Right? And then I also got I got some wheat toast. You can get flour tortilla with it. I opted for the wheat toast. I mean, this is a huge dish yeah, too. Yeah, and a, look at that. That is awesome. That homemade jam. Yeah, that looks That's amazing. That's homemade jam for the toast right. with all that butter. Exactly. And that's <laughs> a nice fresh fruit for you if you want to stay healthy. Exactly. That, which I do. I'll have which the fresh fruit. Which will balance it out. I'll balance it out. <laughs> it, it's go. almost like, um, uh, what, what is the one that can take the, the stone? Oh, uh, Excalibur. 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 I've claimed Excalibur. Right. Now you're ready to attack. Not ready to attack. Now, I did get a correction, so it's not a hollandaise sauce, it's actually a chipotle cream sauce. Ooh, that sounds good. And I like chipotle. Wow, it really cuts through nice and tender. I mean, look at that. All right, here we go. That is really, truly divine. I mean, that chicken breast is really tender. Little crunch from the top. The 
Chipotle cream sauce is dynamite. It's wow. a little spicy, which is really nice. We nice. have like a sweet and spicy in that. Loving the tomato, the little bit of egg in there, the bacon. Um, you really taste every step of the way. Every bit has a little bit of a taste in that, which is wonderful. Now I can definitely, see, I'm only gonna probably be able to finish a quarter of this, but the rest <laughs> is gonna be for lunch. But it is truly dynamite, really tender, really soft. The biscuit was just broke up and melted in my mouth. Absolutely, a thumbs up. Whew. Okay. Are you stuffed yet? I think, uh, think Tanya's taking a nap over there. I'm gonna take a break for a yes. second and let you tell me what you got over there. Okay, here we go. I got the chorizo hash and with jalapeno and these nice uh, eggs here. I wanna actually, I wanna, what I wanna do is actually take this egg and kind of crack open the yolk and mix it in here. That's a good idea. I like to kind of get it all in this good stuff. And they have these like crispy, Potatoes as well, so pretty cool. <laughs> you know what's going to be interesting? Got to get a jalapeno. Yeah, and those jalapenos have seeds in them, which is good. Which I'm is going to be nice and hot. It's supposed to be a little spicy, which I'm looking for. So that's really good. <laughs> this is a great hash. The chorizo tastes tastes amazing. Really mm -hmm. nice, and the jalapenos really burst. And you're right; those seeds are in there. There's a lot of spice coming from the jalapenos, which I love. Really, really good stuff. You taste it. There's cheddar cheese in here as well. You taste that cheddar absolutely in the chorizo. Also some fresh tomato. And of course, having that egg yolk just kind of pour right in there. Really, really nice. I'm excited to eat this. I could probably finish maybe half of this. Yeah. You know? It's, a, you know, it's funny, when you saw the photo, I thought, oh, it's going to be a little bit smaller, but no, this is a big cast iron skillet. It's a real big skillet. Yeah, I mean, a, you usually get those tiny yeah, little exactly. comfy pots. Everything's super size. But I'm ready to dive into this. This is really good. You ready to dive in, super size? Here we go. <laughs> so that was really a fun experience. I am so full, as per usual, with everything we do and eat. I always get super uh, stuffed. I'm so stuffed. Yeah, too. so let me ask you. Sure. So what did you think of this place? Well, what do you think? It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Turn it up, world! The uh, Pepper Mill is really known for its breakfast. So of course we had to get something on that breakfast side of things. And so what'd you get? Yeah, well, and we're gonna share everything. Don't forget, don't Yeah, the forget. portion sizes are yeah, humongous. Huge portions, right? Humongous. So we're getting uh, corned beef hash yeah. with three basted eggs. Oh my gosh, that sounds really good. Well, actually, it's all gonna be together, probably. With some fruit, right? With some fruit as well. Yeah, and I'm getting side. a Euro sandwich, which is gonna be really nice. We love Euro sandwiches yes. anyway, so it's just something that's classic, something that was also recommended for this place. And uh, I think yours was, what, 16 dollars Ninety-five, yeah. and mine was like fifteen fifty. So it's certainly not cheap, but I have, I do believe it's worth it. I mean, it's been here since seventy-two. So come on. So much character. It's amazing coming in here. You know, it's great food, large, huge portions, yes. right? So expect to kind of take some food out with you or share it. I'm excited, and for cocktails now. We decided to get a little bit of cocktails. And now they do have a fireside lounge, which is kind of just cocktails and appetizers only. But we're, we're gonna kind of dive into this right here since we're getting the full fledged and just kicking things off here. You got something called Kiss My Cucumber. Just kiss My Cucumber. Kiss my cucumber. It's supposed to be very refreshing. Yes, so. now I'm gonna read it right from the menu. So Dave's got yeah, something where it's like, Hendrix Gin, it's got, oh, bowls, melon liqueur, fresh lime, mint, cucumber, and soda. Yeah. So that's definitely right up your alley. It's yeah, not it super is. sweet. And of course, I went with like a classic Mai Tai. And hopefully, if it's a good Mai Tai, it's a strong Mai Tai. Are we switching up? Switching up. We're switching switching up, up just a little bit. A little cooler on this side. So exactly. we'll give you that cooler you cool. spot. Yeah, that's it. But this is going <laughs> to keep me cool. Oh, Cheers yeah. to the reopening of Las Vegas, baby. The reopening. Try mine. I'll try it in just a second. I think our food is gone. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got some food. <laughs> food delivery. Thank you. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, that was killer. Oh, perfect. Wow. That's awesome. Thank you Whoa, so much. Mama. Perfect. Wow. This looks awesome. All right. So the all food right, has right. arrived. Can you believe this stash of Oh, goodness? it looks awesome. It looks amazing. I'm loving this guy right here. I love how, like, the hash browns, it just smells the aroma. Oh, so good. It smells so wonderful. And the egg. Yeah, the hash of those basted eggs. I can't wait to dive into that. I know. Right? These euros are unbelievable. Look at the sauce on these puppies. So I mean, good. look Woo. at that. That and those, but mm, nah, I know. The smell is amazing. So good. Look at the, the potato, potato salad. salad. Nice. We're gonna dive what into this. What a good idea for the potato salad. High five up. High five up. Yeah. And the fruit. Nice fruit salad looks, I mean, looks, really, looks really, really good. Looks really, really fresh. So what do I start with? 
Eeny, meeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger <laughs> by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. My mother told me to pick the very best one right <laughs> over here. All right, there okay. we go. Ash browns it. it is. Ash browns it is. We got it. We'll move it to the side. Maybe bring it on that end. You got it. Want to try a little hot sauce? Maybe. Huh. I mean, that's a definite. Okay, that sounds good to me. But maybe I should control it because I know you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ooh, it's going to be oh, good. I might put too much. All right. Mmm. It really has a lot of nice flavor. The hot sauce really adds a nice depth to it. Mm -hmm. But the Absolutely. egg and the hash brown, not, I mean, it's like the perfect hash brown. It's like it really so old good. school. It I love the crisp, nice and crispy. Really good. All right, I don't know about you, but that hash brown, I'm stuffed already. I know, me too. It's like a great dish to share. You oh, know? Yeah. Unless you're like a monster eater. Yeah. It's like for us, it's perfect. It's perfect. I mean, they're not kidding about the portion sizes. The right. portion sizes are really nicely portioned out for sure. Absolutely. Huge, huge, huge. But huge that, that kind of makes sense with the pricing that you think about. One person split that. Yeah, that was what, $16.95. Exactly. Split that. I mean, that's a good value. Exactly. On the strip. It's really good. Exactly. Well done. So moving on to the next delicious portion here. We got our Euros. The Euros. With that nice kind of like the like sauce, like sauce, or, yeah, sauce that's amazing. and like the onions and like the tomato and of course this looks really creamy this potato salad looks really good right, here we right. go i'm gonna it's try to make sure i get all that sauce in there yeah. it's gonna be a hot mess bite oh it's, it's gonna, gonna be crazy it's like all of my face kind of bite crazy. you ready yeah yeah mm. mm. oh man it's a nice blend of flavors yeah i so can yummy. taste like I love the crunch of like the, the white onion. Right, really had mm -hmm. that crunchiness. And the fact that they laid on, you know us, we like a lot of that sauce. Because oh. sometimes, you know, if you don't have the sauce, it must be a little, be a little dry. dry. Yes. So the sauce really just kind of bring it on home, like that dill. Yeah. You can definitely taste the dill in that yogurt sauce. Yeah, really good. Really, really nice. And the meat is done to perfection. It is, it's really, really well done. But I realized I forgot though, I gotta put on some hot sauce. You love your hot sauce. Yeah, this has gotta have some hot sauce because it's missing that little That little, little kick. kick. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try it too. Yeah, you'll like that. But it's really good. Mmm. Mmm. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. A little hot sauce. Mm. The same bite is still as consistent as the first. It's just good. All the way through. Mm. I think we did a good job picking out these dishes. Mm -hmm. Before we get really stuffed, yeah. what do you think about trying this potato salad? I'm gonna try that it. looks good yeah. and creamy. I don't know if that's good as your mama's potato salad. But you I made your know. mama's and that was a really good potato salad. I'm gonna let you be the judge of that yeah. one. Is it as good as my mama's potato well, salad? Well, I think there's one answer to that. There's only one answer I say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. I'm not right. stupid. Here I'm not dumb, but I'm not that dumb. <laughs> Yeah, smart man. <laughs> yeah, right. Here we go. Here we go. It does look good though, I gotta say. It looks really good. Mmm. That is good. That's good. That's good. What did you think? Not heavy on the mustard? Yeah, not too heavy on the mustard. You really taste the mustard, yeah. but not too heavy. Potatoes are really nice, nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. Creamy smooth. I can taste like the bits, almost like they have like little red peppers in yeah. there. And then the cilantro, that's kind of on top of that. So it gives a little kick as well, but that's really nice. And yeah, I like nice. the fact that it's thick. Like the potato pieces in there are really kind of, you know, you yeah. get like nice thick pieces. Yeah, I right. gotta say though, your mama's potato salad, can't beat that. <laughs> <laughs> Tons of good music. Oh, yeah. That is just what we need down there. Huh? Plenty of good stuff going on. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, I'm stuffed. Oh, I'm so stuffed. So, what did you think? Oh, what do you think? <laughs> wow, so how fitting is it to end? Where we began in the hot ass parking lot of the Pepper Mill. Oh, no, absolutely. <laughs> and actually, yeah, we're a very well deserved dance. This place is amazing. It really is. The food portions are humongous. So, for the price and the size portions, we think it's worth it. You can easily kind of share a dish between the two. Of you. Right. And expect to actually take some home, too. Yeah. We're taking some home. So. Oh, yeah. And some drinks. Yes. <laughs> And just like that, breakfast is served. Echo, 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 echo. <laughs> yes, they're super fast here. Yeah. Uh, now it is empty. Yeah, right? and that's most likely because, you know, 
the echoes coming from the fact that there is no one in here. So. Exactly. We're very early. Very early today. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we decided to go with what's called the Ultimate Breakfast. This is one order of the Ultimate Breakfast for $21. It comes with three pancakes normally. They actually, we were lucky they gave us four. So thumbs up to that. Yes. Right? And two eggs any style. Uh, and then what else they got? They got... Uh, yes, we got, of course, almost like the potatoes, hash browns, giant size sausage. Now, they do have maple syrup. Now, it's not the real maple syrup, but that's okay. We are hungry. It's kind of the one with a little bit of the cornstarch. Yes. But I'm sure it's going to taste just as good with a little butter on top of that. So, yum, yum, give me some. <laughs> Are stuff. I will certainly say that was not bad. I mean, not the best breakfast we had here on the strip, but certainly not bad for the value. Yeah, no, it's a good budget option. It was ten dollars and fifty cents a person, so twenty-one dollars total. Good deal for the strip. Not bad. Welcome to Forty-Eight and Crepe. All right, see you in a little bit. Nothing like a little Tabasco. Just a little pinchy ping. Just to give a little. You toss some of mine too, baby. Oh, I like a little pepper you. in your stepper. That's right. It's Tabasco time here in New York, New York. Yum, yum, get some. Feeling very hungry, but I don't know about it. I, I, I just can't. I just, uh, all I can smell right now is the Tabasco sauce. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all over it. You gotta cut into that crepe. Yeah. But I've never had a, um, a sausage and egg crepe, and it looks I like know. they put like gravy on top of there. It just, it just seemed fitting to have a uh, Tabasco sauce, right? It's like a breakfast sandwich in a crepe. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. I think it throws me a bit is the crepe. It has like a pancakey vibe, right. you know, wrapped into a sausage and egg. Sausage and egg is nice. Spice is great on the Tabasco, and I like the gravy on top. So I think this is gonna do the trick for sure. It's gonna fill us up. It's definitely gonna fill us yeah. up. I can't really see what you think of this, but it's pretty good. I think it would taste much better on a biscuit. Mm. But it's still light and fluffy, the crepe part. It's surprisingly light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was okay. You're right. It's uh, it's different, right? Are you it's still get the unexpected. Unexpected. unexpected, unexpected, but you know, it's cool. Quick question for you: Let us know your favorite restaurant in Las Vegas in the comments below. We would. Love to hear about it. Absolutely. Hey, and one last important thing. If you're coming to Las Vegas, you want to know three amazing hidden gems that locals actually love, well, check out that video right here. Right here somewhere. We'll put it somewhere up on the screen. Just give me a second while I'm digesting this limoncello. <laughs> All right, y'all. And we'll see you in the next one.